Hey everybody, it is Odin, and oh my god, Xanima has updated. That's right, we are now at version 0.7.2. And apparently, the biggest change was a brand new area, which can be reached via a dark tunnel in the crossroads area, which of course was one of the areas added in the previous update about, oh, ten months ago or so. And uh, aside from that, there's been some animation improvements, so apparently the characters are going to feel a little less wobbly. And uh, that's according to the patch notes. Um, also, there's been the introduction of what they call mundane items, which are things that don't necessarily serve a practical purpose for you, but they're there to add uh, realism and kind of uh, sense, you know, uh, to make rooms seem reasonable like they had a purpose. Uh, and that kind of thing, and that, you know, to make containers seem very purposeful. So that that's really good for immersion. Uh, so we're basically going to dive on in and just see what all is new, basically. I haven't played it at all since the update. I just now loaded it up. So uh, let's go with a new game, shall we? Alright, so uh, we're probably going to start as Unknown because we're going to want to get Darren as our uh, our companion. So we're, we're just going to go with Unknown. Alright, as you can see, our last name was not very flattering. It was Idiot Ass Bitch. Let's try something different today. Let's just go with Odin. We've already got our Keith Urban mullet. You know we do, so we're set on that. Let's go with blue today. Let's just go with a darker palette here. Alright, we've already got uh, our Remise and our Repost. Man, it's been so long since I've played. I'm just now remembering things like, oh man, like I don't necessarily remember how to do things. <laughs> And we're working on maneuvering in armor, too. Alright. Oh, man. I'm trying to think when the last time I played was, and I can't... I re I, honest, I can't remember. It must have been a stream, obviously. But, man, I, I just don't know when that was. It had to have been months ago. Alright, I need to re-familiarize myself with the controls. All right, let's pick up the torch. Uh, over here is the shield. Uh, well, it's it's not really a shield, but at the top of a barrel. And we're not going to use that. Let's. Where is the the weapon? There it is. Arm ourselves just like that. And now we are ready to go. Now. I should probably take a few practice swings before fighting here. Just remember my overhead and my stab. That's right. Okay. Alright, let's try not to embarrass ourselves here. This is raw. Oh man, it feels... Oh, it feels faster. It definitely feels. F oh yeah, it feels. F I wasn't really swinging my cursor there. I was kind of in awe of. Man, it feels much more. Hmm. I mean, it is quicker, but there's something else to it that I can't really describe. Uh, all right, I don't want that hatchet. But we're gonna go over here, and we are going to open this up here. Ah, now what the hell is that? Oh, that's a bill hook. Now that's interesting. Now is that so? Is that like a new bill hook? Because the bill hook used to be like a pole arm thing. That's interesting. All right. So what do we have here? We have a thick leather vest. That's great. And we've got some superior leather van braces. That is also great. I'm really curious about this. I'm really curious. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, just the shorter version. I wonder if the longer version still uh, exists or what. That is a question for another day. All right, I, what I want is my sledgehammer, obviously. It's what I always want, and so I hope it's still here. Oh, uh, yeah, there it is. I was about to, oh, man, I was about to lose it. Uh, let's just, oh, I was going to put that on my secondary. I'm stupid. Oh, it's been a while. Okay, so that's our primary, and here's our secondary. There we go. 
All right. In fact, we've got enough light here to, to operate just fine. And we've got some fine leather gauntlets that will complement our van braces quite nicely. Oh, another thing about the update, well, not necessarily about this update, but apparently, apparently now, coming next and soon, uh, I need a little bit of light, is the Thaumaturgy update, uh, which introduces, obviously, magic into the game, and I have no idea what that's going to be like. I don't have any insight into it. All I know is it's called Thaumaturgy, and uh, it's, you know, it's going to be awesome. It just doesn't even matter. Okay. So let's see what we have here. Oh my god, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, uh, and I'm not complaining. Alright, there's crude leather boots, and then there's leather boots. What is this? This is a mallet, okay, and that is a pickaxe, which can be used as a weapon, interestingly enough. Uh, that's a long knife. Hey, I kind of like that. And then, of course, we have a metal bar. But we've already got a sledgehammer, which is probably what I would prefer to the bar. Oh, we've got some activity. I kind of want to use this knife, but I also kind of want to use the sledgehammer. Because I haven't really fought with a two-handed thing in a very long time here. There we go. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no. I still feel like I'm playing Mordhau, which is what I was playing just earlier today. Uh, all right, so that was good. Uh, and just some oddly colored clothes. Nothing to be too concerned about there. All right, let's go over here and get the compass. Some things never change, thankfully. Uh, among those, getting stuck on the corner of a of a doorway, but also the the reliable compass. There we are. I suppose I could be looking around at different things to see what they are, just to see if there are different new items. This, most of this stuff looks pretty much the same. Apparently, a lot of uh, of of new things are in that new area that include apparently things that take advantage of new engine features. But uh, in the change log, they didn't go into specifics there. They kind of left it hanging and said, well, you know, you'll find out as you explore it, which is cool. Got no problem with that. Okay, what weapon do I want to use here? I'm going to try this knife. should probably move this thing. Is there a decent place I can put it? I guess right there. Oh, hell. I always managed... Oh, shit. I always managed to step into these things. I stepped into both of them. I, al <laughs> I always do that. It doesn't matter where I place them. It doesn't matter where they are. I will find them during the fight, and I will stumble over them. That's just a guarantee. Oh, wow. Look at this. A drawing compass... That's a carpentry knife, which has stats, so we can use it. Uh, that's a chisel, another mundane item. And then we have a worn leather belt and a worn leather belt. So, <laughs> I guess we'll take that one. And then we have this jacket. I don't I don't remember what goes over what. This, uh, I think that replaced... Yeah, my best. Okay, we don't want to do that. And what do we have here? Is this anything special? Uh, just fine leather. How much is the coverage? about the same, right? But it has slightly more protection. Okay. Well, that's cool. All right. So, um, where are we going to go now? I guess we'll go get Darren. Now, apparently there's been some, uh, some upgrades and updates to the dialogue system as well. I don't know if that applies to Darren, but maybe it does. Alright, we've got company over there, but we should be alright if we go in here and close the door first on ourselves. 
And then go ahead and there we go. Alright, hello Darren, we'll press T to talk. Who are you? I am just a farmhand, name's Darren. Okay, well, what are you doing here? I got attacked by bandits. They robbed me and then threw me in here. I see. You see? I didn't do nothing. It does seem odd. How did you get here? Can you get out? I certainly intend to. What about the dead ones? Uh, I'm more concerned about the necromancer. What the hell does that mean? They don't seem very aggressive. I'll try to avoid them. If they get in my way, I'll kill them. That's, that's just how we do. Take me with you. Yes, we may be able to help each other. All I've got is this stick, though. Well, are you able to fight? My dad was a soldier. Tried to teach me some, but I wasn't much for it. What about you? Uh, I'm quite proficient. Let's, let's, <laughs> a little bit of a humble brag there. We should look around. My dad would say just a good shirt can save your skin. I suppose, let me know if you see anything useful. Let's go now. Okay, so there are some new options here for the dialogue. That's cool. Uh, do I have anything that I could give him? I mean, uh, wait a minute. Did my van braces come off? Did they come off when I put on those gloves? Is that what happened? No, I don't, what happened there? That's weird. Anyway, uh, I suppose I could give him... Maybe... Uh, I was going to think about giving him a sledgehammer, but maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, Alright. Was there always something here? A loot box? I don't think there was. Whoa. Alright, we got a funnel, and some bottles. We got a pot. Uh, this is... Ooh, fine leather boots. Thank you. Alright. So let me see your equipment. Let's give him these boots. And we'll give him that jacket too. I mean, why the hell not? And oh, let's just give him a decent weapon. I don't need it. I'll use the knife for now until we find something else. That was probably a big mistake. Giving him that shit and leaving myself with just the knife. But we'll see what happens. Okay, still a little awkward on my walking here, but it's alright. Getting used to it again. Alright. So, I guess we should handle this situation. Hey, nice, Darren. Very nice. Oh, no. There we go. Nice. Alright, that was good and uneventful. That's the way I like it. Uh, waistcoat, no thank you. Okay, so let's move into this room now. Um, what do we have here? Do have a thick tunic. Now, can then we wear that under? Yeah, we can. Okay. And then without the Uggs, we don't want the Uggs. Um, and I always, f I always move the body, oh, and it's so much easier to move things around here. Look at this. That that's <laughs> this is new. That that ability to to manipulate bodies like this is that's pretty new, man. It used to be somewhat difficult. This is <laughs> I enjoy that actually. I'm glad I did that. All right. Here's the key. Oh, whoops. There we go. Go over here. The door, I believe, is locked, right? Yeah, that's right. And it's this key we use. So we double click and then we click the door. There we go. Check the corpse first. Uh, nothing cool, unfortunately. And then we got this loot box over here. Uh, and we got one of the superior leather helms, all right? Things that I used to call shit helmets because they kind of resemble, well, anyway. Uh, and then we got a goblet and some strange looking bottles. That's cool. That is cool. All right, look out, Darren. You're wearing out your welcome. Wearing out your welcome. All right, yeah, okay. Let's, let's, let's not do that. There we go. All right, so we could get into some shit, basically, by opening this door. I think there's two zombies in there. 
The question is, do we want to bother with them or do we want to move on? And I think we want to move on. I think that's what we're going to do. I don't want to risk, well, either Darren or myself getting killed this early. All right, here is key number two. Put it over there. And none of that is interesting. Here is some lore. If you haven't read that before, you can go ahead and pause it and give it a good read. But uh, we have gone over that many times. Okay, so it's time to go use this key to unlock a... Whoa. Oh, I thought there was someone standing right there. You go unlock a door over here. I'm passing up the opportunity to search a couple things, but it's all right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and engage here. Can't ever get to a point where I'm afraid of engaging. I've got to maintain that confidence. It's crucial in this game. When you think about it too much, man... Uh-oh. Oh, shit. I need to zoom in further here. This oh man, this knife isn't the the, the coolest weapon, but uh, it's getting the job done. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna have to spend some time in the arena for sure, man. I am rusty. Rusty. Ooh, a heavy gambeson. All right, give me that. Um, what do we have over here? N Nothing interesting, sadly. Alright, how you doing, Darren? Doing alright? He looks okay. I didn't notice him get hit, but I wasn't really paying that much attention, to be honest. Alright, now over here we're going to use our second key. Open that up. But yeah, no, it the uh, the combat doesn't seem to have changed drastically or anything, so I, I feel pretty confident going into these fights. As I was saying, that's very important. I usually don't zoom in this far. Oh, see, I'm expecting a longer wind-up. It's a very, very short wind-up with this thing. Oh, damn. Hey, uh, Darren! The hell are you doing, buddy? I'm getting my ass kicked over here. There we go. All right. Man, that was rough. That was rough. I was basically being attacked with a giant pencil. You got me. You got me pretty good, but it's just stamina damage. It'll come back. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Uh, the axe would make an interesting secondary. So we'll do that. Uh, the fine leather tunic can probably give that to... Uh, what was that thing? A chisel. Okay. Uh, wow, look at this. A shovel, which is a weapon. That's cool. Same thing with the hammer. Got a buckler. Hey, a damaged chain vest. Uh, I wonder... Yeah. Go ahead and slap that on. Uh, a draw knife. That's interesting. What is, what is he saying? Uh, and then a bunch of different items of clothing. All right, look out, Darren. Oh, here we go. Hey, however you want to do it, man. However you want to do it. Okay, so, man. What is that? A counter. A glass counter. An iron ingot. Uh coat, just regular trousers. There's a long knife, just like we have. Yeah, I think I'm, now that I'm used to the really short wind-up on this knife, I think I can do a little bit better with it. And you can see our health is looking good. That is wool, some Jesus sandals, and now there's, now this is just a bill, no longer a bill hook, it is a bill. Okay. Gotcha. All right, there's the bathroom. Oh, 
Okay. All right, so we're going to have to end today's episode right here, but I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me while we play some Xanima. Really excited about the update. I hope you'll stick around for the future videos. Uh, I'll try to produce them regularly, just like back in the old days. But yeah, please hit like and subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I will see you guys next time.